three out of five sets, five, seven, eight, 10, six, three, 11, nine, and six, three. Here are the finalists, Ash on the left and Pelik at right. Here's Lieutenant Arthur Ash being presented the Sugar Bowl trophy by tennis chairman Dr. George Schneider and tournament director Harcourt Waters. In the doubles, Lieutenant Arthur Ash and Ron Homburg defeated Nicola Pelik and Ham Richardson 4-6, 13-11, and 6-2. Here's action in the doubles title match. Here they are from left to right. Lieutenant Arthur Ash, Ron Homburg, Ham Richardson, and Nicola Felix. 180 boats participated in the four-day Sugar Bowl sailing regatta on Lake Pontchartrain. A vigorous crew, led by skipper Billy Ibbs Jr., sailed the New Orleans Yacht Club to first place. Billy Ibbs Jr. is shown with his crew, Mike Sperry and Jack Castle. The University of Michigan is the winner of the intercollegiate regatta with 98 points. Kings Point finished in second place with 96 points and the Citadel was third. The field of nine colleges also included Yale University, Southern California, Tulane University, California State, University of Pennsylvania, and the University of Connecticut. Yale's Chris Seavers won high point honors in class B with 59 points. Hans Meyer of Michigan was a scoring leader in Class A with 55 points. Here is the Wolverines winning crew with the Sugar Bowl trophy. Loyola Fieldhouse is the scene of the Sugar Bowl basketball tournament as Vanderbilt and Michigan State open the competition. In the second game, Davidson College is paired with Memphis State. In the first game opening night, Vandy in white jerseys defeats Michigan State in green, 73 to 63. Lee Lafayette, State's big center, number 35, scores 25 points. Tom Hagen, number 34, leads the Commodore offensive with 24 points. In the second game, Davidson in white moves past Memphis State in blue, 51 to 44. Guard Mike Butler is high point man for Memphis State with 18 points. Davidson is led by six foot six inch Mike Malloy, number 15, who scores 15 points. On the second night of play, Memphis State in blue jerseys rushes past Michigan State in white, 73 to 57 for consolation honors. Lafayette scores 18 for Michigan State. Coach Mo Iba's Tigers were again led by Mike Butler with 26 points. In the finals, Coach Roy Skinner's Vanderbilt Commodores in black turn back Davidson in white 80 to 67 to win the Sugar Bowl crown. Davidson is led by Mike Malloy, who buckets 18 points. Hagen, number 34, with 26 points, and Bo Wyanant, number 41, with 23 points, sparked the Commodores' offensive. Here's the presentation of awards. Coach Lefty Drizel of runner-up Davidson receives his award. Awards are then presented to Vanderbilt, the 1967 Sugar Bowl champions. Here is coach Roy Skinner of the Commodores receiving the championship trophy. The outstanding player of the tournament, Tom Hagen, number 34 of Vanderbilt, is shown with his trophy. The all-college invitational track meet held at Tad Garmley Stadium draws an enthusiastic crowd. They're on their marks in staggered lanes for the 440-yard relay. And they're off. Southern University in blue is the winning team. Grambling College is second, and Southeastern Louisiana College is third. Here's 
the running of the 120-yard high hurdles. And the winner is Willie Davenport of Southern University. In staggered lanes now, they're off in the 440-yard dash. Vince Matthews of Johnson C. Smith College holds off the challenge of Mike Mondain of Iowa and is the winner in a close finish. John Mason of Fort Hayes, Kansas State shakes off the late rush of Roscoe Devine of Oregon and is the winner in the mile run. Devine is second and Conrad Nightingale of Kansas State University is third. On their marks for the 100-yard dash. And they're off. Jim Green, Kentucky freshman, finishes first. John Carlos of East Texas State is second. And Andy Thiel of Southeastern Louisiana College is third. The mile run for high school athletes, a first for the Sugar Bowl, is won by Leonard Black from Bolton High of Alexandria and running unattached. He's the winner easily, followed by Sam Reeves of Porche in second place and Bob Saike of Redemptorist in third place. Larry Wysorek of Iowa University sets a record-breaking pace to win the three-mile run. His time is 13 minutes, 34 seconds, and it breaks the old mark of 1337.9 set by Bruce Kidd of Canada in 1962. Larry Kurtz of Oklahoma State wins the pole vault event. In staggered lanes, here's the start of the mile relay. And Lamar Tex quartet, led by anchorman Randy Cluis, sets a new Sugar Bowl record. The time is 3 minutes, 12 and 3 tenths seconds, wiping out the old mark of 313.8, set by Iowa University in 1962. Larry Wysorek of Iowa, named the outstanding track athlete for his record-breaking three-mile run. at Mammoth Sugar Bowl Stadium are entertained by the various musical contingents participating in the pageantry. Dr. William D. Carlson, president of the University of Wyoming, is caught in a joyous mood. Co-captain Jim Kick and head football coach Lloyd Eaton of the Wyoming Cowboys. Here's Governor Stanley Hathaway of the state of Wyoming. Co-captains Benny Griffin and Barry Wilson get last-minute instructions from LSU head football coach Charlie McClendon. Dr. John A. Hunter, president of Louisiana State University, is shown as he awaits the kickoff. Lovely Patricia White of New Orleans is crowned the 1968 Sugar Bowl Queen by President Sam Carnes Sweat Jr. as Mayor Victor Skiro looks on. Marching bands of LSU and Wyoming form the figure 250 in dedicating their pregame and halftime show to the 250th anniversary of the founding of New Orleans. The University of Wyoming marching band, 110 strong, and under the direction of Charles P. Seltonrich, performs to the delight of the spectators. is Louisiana State University's marching band from Tigerland with Bill Swore directing and featuring LSU's Golden Girls with their colorful formations.
stand with bowed heads as the Right Reverend Gerald M. Jones delivers the prayer for peace. As all musical organizations assemble on the field, under the direction of Mr. Bill Swore, band director of LSU, Miss Joe Yaki sings the national anthem. officials with team captains of Wyoming and LSU for the coin toss. Wyoming wins the toss and elects to defend the north goal. LSU elects to receive. Lee Poister kicking off for Wyoming. He puts it into the air and it goes down to the LSU goal line. Grisafi takes it in and returns 26 yards to the Tiger 26-yard line. After two passes and a run, failed to make a first down, with fourth and eight yards to go, Worley punts to the Wyoming 45-yard line. There the ball rolls dead. It's a 27-yard kick and Wyoming takes over. First and 10 for Wyoming at its own 45. Toscano, the quarterback, hands to Tom Williams at left guard for a five-yard gain to midfield. Second and five at the 50. Toscano drops back and passes to Huey, who gets six yards and a first down at the LSU 44-yard line. It's a first and ten for the Cowboys at the Tiger 44. Toscano, the quarterback, pitches the kick. He picks up two yards at right tackle, stopped by Thomason. Second and eight for the Cowboys at the LSU 42. Toscano back to pass. He throws to Lindsay for 15 yards and a first down at the Tigers 27 yard line where he stopped by Thomason. It's another first and 10 for the Wyoming Cowboys. The ball in the LSU 27. Toscano fakes, drops back to pass, overthrows. It's incomplete, intended for kick. Second and 10 at the LSU 27. Toscano drops back. Keeps the ball, ducks up the middle at right tackle and is stopped by Bozeman after a gain of one yard. That makes it third down and nine yards to go at the Tiger 26. Toscano hands to Williams on a delayed buck. He hits right guard and picks up five yards to the Tiger 21. Fourth down, four yards to go. The ball in the LSU 21-yard line. DePoister tries a 37-yard field goal. But the ball is blocked by Michelson. And Griffin finally recovers for LSU at the Wyoming 46. LSU is unable to make the necessary yardage, however, and with fourth and eight at the Wyoming 44, Worley punts out of bounds on the Wyoming 11-yard line. The kick is good for 33 yards. The tough Tiger defense forces Wyoming to punt back with fourth and 12 at the Cowboys' nine, DePoister, kicking from his own end zone, gets off a 45-yard boot to the LSU 46. Grisafi fields it and returns 28 yards down the sideline to the Wyoming 26-yard strike. LSU takes over now with a first and 10 on the Cowboys 26. Stokely, the quarterback, pitches to Allen, who tries left end and gets five to the Wyoming 21, where he's run out of bounds by Spikes. It's second and five for the Tigers. Stokely hands to Allen at right tackle. He gains three to the Wyoming 18. He's stopped by Nels. Third and two, LSU. Stokely, the quarterback, hands to Allen. He moves off right tackle, but stopped for no gain by Aylward. Fourth down, two yards to go, the Wyoming 18. Stokely swings to the right. But Stankus spills him for a three-yard loss to the Cowboy 21, and Wyoming takes over. Wyoming's ball, first and ten. Toscano hands to Tom Williams, who gets three yards to the Wyoming 24, stopped by Jeter. Second and seven for the Cowboys. 
Toscano fakes, drops back to pass. He throws to Huey. The ball bounces off his hands, and Griffin intercepts for LSU at the Wyoming 34. He returns two yards to the Cowboys' 32-yard line. After two runs and an incompleted pass failed to make the first down, Hurd attempts a field goal from the Wyoming 36, but the ball is short, and Wyoming takes over on its own 20 with 4 minutes 44 seconds left in the first quarter. Toscano, the quarterback for Wyoming, hands to kick at right guard. He gains two to the Wyoming 22, stopped by Griffin and Garlington. Second and eight for Wyoming. Toscano back to pass. He throws to Anderson, and it's complete for 31 yards and a first down at the LSU 47. Grasaffi brings him down. Another first and ten for the Cowboys. Toscano hands off the kick at left tackle, and he gains 13 yards and a first down at the Tigers 34. Stopped again by Grasaffi. First and ten, Wyoming. Toscano hands to Hampton at left tackle. He picks up four yards to the LSU 30, where he's stopped by Cobert. Second down, six yards to go for Wyoming. Toscano hands to Joe Williams, who picks up two yards to the LSU 28. He's brought down by Garlington. Third and four now for Wyoming. Toscano pitches to kick. He cuts over right tackle and gains four to the LSU 24 for another first down. Stopped by Thomason. First and ten Cowboys. Toscano hands to kick at left guard. He picks up four to the LSU 20. He's dropped by Griffin. Second and six for Wyoming. Toscano keeps the ball this time. He swings to the left, cuts back over left tackle for 19 yards and a first down at the LSU one-yard line with 15 seconds left in the first quarter. The clock runs out before another play is started with a score nothing to nothing. It's first and goal for Wyoming, and Toscano hands to Kick, who swings left for a yard and a touchdown with 14.50 seconds left on the clock. With Toscano holding, DePoyster converts, and it's Wyoming 7, LSU nothing. The touchdown drive was for 80 yards in nine plays. DePoyster kicks off now for Wyoming. He boots it down to the LSU six-yard line. Allen takes it and returns 11 yards to the Tigers 17, where he's stopped by Suganuma. LSU fails to gain in two plays, but with third and 10, Stokely keeps the ball, runs back over right tackle for 20 yards, and a first down on the LSU 37. He's stopped by Gottberg. Wyoming's defense stops LSU with fourth and three to go at the LSU 44. LSU is penalized five yards for illegal procedure. It's now fourth and eight at the Tiger 39. Worley punts to the Wyoming 31-yard line. The Washington signals for a fair catch. The kick is good for 30 yards. After two plays get a first down, Wyoming suffers a 15-yard holding penalty. The third and 21, Toscano drops back to pass. He throws intended for kick, and it's intercepted by Kent on the LSU 44. He returns 16 yards to the Cowboy 40 with 9.39 left to play in the second period. LSU unable to move the ball and failing to gain a first down. Wyoming then takes over at its own 36 following the next series. So despite the interception, Wyoming takes the ball back on downs. First and ten, Toscano hands to Tom Williams at right guard. He gains four to the Wyoming 40, stopped by Bozeman. Second and six for the Cowboys. Toscano, the quarterback, he hands the kick, moves over left guard, breaks free for 18 yards and a first down at the LSU 42. He's tackled by Cobra. It's another first down for the Cowboys. Toscano hands it to Tom Williams. He piles over left tackle and picks up five to the LSU 37 where he's stopped by Cobra. Second down, five to go for Wyoming. Toscano hands to kick. He moves over right guard for three to the LSU 34 where he's dropped by Griffin. Third and two. Toscano hands to Hampton. He drives over right guard for two to the 32 of LSU for a first down. Toscano under center. Drops back and passes to kick. Good for four yards to the LSU 28 where he's run out of bounds by Cobra. It's second and six for Wyoming. Toscano back to pass. 
He throws to Anderson for 15 yards and a first down at the LSU 13. Fry tackles him. First and 10 for the Cowboys. Toscano pitches back to kick. He tries left end and gains five to the LSU eight yard line where he's halted by Thomason. Second and five now for Wyoming. Toscano, the quarterback, keeps it and runs at left end for a gain of two to the LSU six yard line. He is stopped by Coburn. Third down, three yards to go for the Cowboys. Toscano back to throw. He sights Lindsay in the end zone, throws to him, but it's broken up by Kim. Now with Toscano holding, DePoister kicks a 24-yard field goal, and Wyoming leads 10 to nothing with two minutes 58 seconds left to play in the second period. 